In this lesson, I want to talk about zero trust, a huge critical principle when we think about our security of any service we have today. We already talked about the idea of defense in depth. This takes it to another layer and we think about just because something's on a certain network, we don't trust it. Zero Trust focuses on three key principles. And I have a whole one hour deep dive on this because this is a fascinating, really cool area. The first one is verify explicitly. And what does that mean? So verify explicitly is for every single aspect of an interaction, we're gonna re-validate, revalidate you are who you say you are. Revalidate you're still in a healthy scenario. This could be a user, it could be a service principle, it could be a device, everything. We're constantly gonna verify the access within any policy constraints we have. We're gonna look at any anomalies that we might detect in that interaction to understand maybe there's some potential risk element in this particular communication. We think about least privilege. Just enough permission. I only have the permissions I need to do a particular job. So we make sure we have separate credentials, separate service principles for any different lines of work being done. We think about just in time. I don't have standing privileges. If I'm a user, I use technologies like privileged identity management to elevate up to a particular role only when I need it. We're gonna use policy to look at the context of every request to implement the correct controls. And on that vein of we don't trust just because we're coming from a certain network, we assume breach. We assume there are bad actors on the network. We assume that process trying to talk to us has been corrupted in some way. So we're constantly gonna look at all of the signals available to us, telemetries, automations, risk analysis to defend. We're gonna get signals from every single digital asset we have and use as part of some all up better set of controls to grant access. The intranet, our internal network, we're gonna treat just like the internet. Now, when I think about this, there are various different components that come into play then. Obviously, we have the identity. And again, when we think about identity, that's a user, that's a service principle, that's a managed identity. If it's a user, I wanna think about good authentication. MFA, passwordless, single sign-on. We think about that role-based access control. We think about that just in time with Azure AD, Privileged Identity Management. So I want to really make sure I'm as confident as possible for the user, assess the risk using things like identity protection. I can think about, well, what's the endpoint involved in that? So then we have an endpoint. That endpoint might be a user's laptop, it could be an IoT device, it could be a server, it could be a phone, it could be some piece of equipment. Once again, we think about knowledge of the device and confidence in the device. Does it have a TPM? Can I leverage that? Can I use device certificates to mutually authenticate? Yes, a client normally authenticates to the service it's talking to using certificates, but the service should authenticate the device. I wanna do that mutual authentication. Is the device registered? Is it managed? Is it healthy? I can use things like Defender for Endpoint to help me assess that. Is it jailbroken? Is it patched? So I think about all these different components. And yes, we still think about things like, well, the network, where is it coming from? Is it the internet? Is it a private intranet? I wanna think about layers of security on the network. I wanna think about micro segmentation. I wanna think about encrypting all of the communications. Even within an intranet, I'm still gonna encrypt everything. Could be TLS, could be IPsec. Once again, we're gonna collect the signals, collect the information, because what I wanna then be able to do 
is I want to think about the context. I'm going to take, oh, let's redo that, <laughs> context. We're going to look at the context of the request. So the context comes from all of these different things. And from the context, I can help understand the overall risk of this particular request, because then I want to control what I'm actually going to let you have access to. So we look at the context to control what we're going to let you do. And in terms of solutions, we really think about conditional access. This is obviously a feature of Azure AD Premium, but that is what is going to control. So we have all these signals coming in. We're going to gather that context to give us control to the bits that we then want to talk to. Remember, conditional access can look at the health of a device. It can do many, many different things to help give me that level of assurance. Now, there's infrastructure that things run on. Is it a generation two VM? It comes as part of those endpoints. But then I want to actually go and talk to something. And what I basically want to talk to is my data and my application, which may give me access to that. So through the controls, then I get the access. So I have to understand this. So data is what really matters. My app is maybe the gateway to it. I only have permission to data I have to have access to. Do you know where your data is? Is it classified? So then based on the classification, I can do more controls. Is my data encrypted? For some data, maybe it's data masking to so hide certain parts of the data from the user, like social security numbers. We typically mask a lot of it and maybe just expose the last four digits. Focus on the behaviors of the interaction with the data. Hey, someone's suddenly downloading a whole bunch of data. That's out of the, the ordinary. Maybe we should stop that access for a period of time so we can be sure it, it's valid. So we think about in this idea of zero trust, I'm gathering signals from everything, the identity, the device, the network, I get a context of what it's doing. I think about the resiliency of that infrastructure. So there's a whole part of infra here. We're still making sure it's patched, it's resilient, all of those elements. But then we take this information, use conditional access to then grant a controlled set of access. I make sure I understand my data, where my data is. I'm getting just enough. But we really focus on signals from everywhere. I might bring those into Azure Sentinel as my SIM and SOAR solution to be able to understand what all these signals mean, but then also automatically respond to it. So key tenants, verify explicitly, least privilege, and assume breach.